Hey, Instagram. Hey, YouTube. Hey, Facebook. Your girl is live and I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about the candle sale that's happening at Bath and Body Works and share with you guys some tips on how you can save money if you are planning on actually snagging these sales. Now, I made some notes. So let me, um, hello, 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 everybody on Instagram. So let me go ahead and pull up my notes here. So if you guys are not familiar, I'm going to give you a couple seconds to hop in. I'm going to crack my Dr. Pepper right here. I got my water. Before I drink the Dr. Pepper, I'm going to finish this water. Then I'm going to drink the Dr. Pepper. Hey, everybody on Instagram. If you're on YouTube or Facebook, let me know down in the comments once you're here. We are going to be chatting about Bath and Body Works and flus today. So if you watched me last Friday on Black Friday, I did a whole tutorial on like how to use the flus app. We're going to do that again right now. Um, let me pull up my comments on Facebook as well. So we are going to be talking about the Bath and Body Works Candle Day Sale. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about your girl, Chris. Hi, Kari. Hey, is it Moral, Moral J? So your girl, Chris, is scared of fire. Let's be real here. I'm scared of fire. In my own house, I've only burned a candle when we have had a hurricane or the power was out because I'm scared of fire. I don't know how to flick a lighter. I'm just afraid of fire. I have a fear of fire. That's one of my fears. I never burn candles. My sister loves candles. I'm at Bay's house right now, y'all. And this summer, me and this man bought all these candles. These are all the ones that we've burned already. And we have like six more. So we went during the sale and we like loaded up on candles because he loves candles. So I'm starting to feel a little bit more like it's okay if I burn a candle, I'm not going to die from the fire. Like seriously, y'all, my fear was insane of fire. So now that this candle sale is happening tomorrow, I'm going to engage in the sense of I'm probably going to buy two candles. <laughs> I'm going to give myself that much of leeway because we have flus on our side and flus is going to allow us to stay under budget and get some candles, right? So the three wick candles, which these are the three wick candles and they have been burned all the way down, right? But we saved these. These things work good for ashtrays. They work good to hold money. They work good. You can peel the stickers off and these can be like decorations in your house if you peel the stickers off and clean them up really well. But these are the three wick candles and they are regular price. You can't see the price on this one. This one, we still have a little bit in there, but the regular price is 24, whoops, let me show YouTube first, 24.50 on Instagram. The regular prices of these three wick giant candles, 24.50, is it upside down? Y'all, I can't see. It's 24.50 is the regular price. These bad boys are gonna be on sale for just $9.95. There's a limit of 18 per person. They're going to be on sale in store and online. So let me go back to the Bath and Body Works website so I can give y'all the tea. So you can only buy 18. They're $9.95. It starts tomorrow online at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And in stores, most stores open early from Friday to Sunday. Now, I've never shopped in store for a candle day sale. The sale that we bought, I think we paid like $12 for these. Or it was like buy three, get one free, and they were like twelve or fifteen dollars. I can't remember, but it wasn't twenty. We did not pay twenty-four dollars for each one of them. I can tell you all that right now. So basically, um, the candles are regular price twenty-four fifty. They're gonna be on sale for nine ninety-five, and you can only buy a limit of eighteen. Now I have driven by so many Bath and Body Works during candle weekend or candle day, and the line is wrapped around the store. Your girl is not going to stand in line at any store. So this is Bay's favorite flavor, this Midnight Blue. Um, I really like this Aloha Kiwi. I'll see what they have in stock. I'm just going to go ahead and grab two candles. I'm not going to go overboard. I don't need to buy a thousand, right? I may even wrap them up and give them to him as Christmas presents. That's what I might do. But um, they're going to be $9.95. And like I said, you can get 18 So you can try your luck in store. Or you can be like us and you can try your luck online. Either way, when you purchase them, I would say you should be using flus. So if you don't have flus, I want you to stop what you're doing, 
get up out this live. If you are on Facebook or YouTube, the link for flus is linked in the description box. It's above on Facebook. It's below on YouTube. On Instagram, you can click the link in my bio and click join flus. Basically, flus is an instant cashback app where you earn cash back when you purchase a gift card. Okay, so you purchase a gift card for a store you're going to shop at. For example, we're going to go shop at Bath and Body Works. So instead of paying cash out of pocket, instead of using a debit card, instead of using a credit card, I'm going to go to the Flues app, which I'm going to show you guys right now. I have it in my, I'm going to hold my phone back here so you guys can see. So I'm going to go to the Flues app. All right. We're going to click on Flues and it's going to pop up. And Bath and Body Works is giving us 5% cash back right now. So I'm going to type in Bath and Body Works. There's over 400 retailers in there. And people are like, why should you use Flues? Because you're going to earn cash back on money that you are already planning on spending. So if you already were going to buy some candles as a gift or a treat for yourself, then why not use this cash back app? And then the cash back that you earn, you can use it to buy more gift cards or you can cash that sucker out to PayPal. All right. So as you can see, I typed in Bath and you can see Bath and Body Works and Bed Bath and Beyond are in there. All right. So we are going to click on Bath and Body Works. And when we click on Bath and Body Works, it gives us like the numbers for us to choose how much. It says the minimum we need to buy is five dollars. The maximum we can buy is one hundred dollars. And we're going to earn five percent cash back. So I only want to buy two candles and I want to make sure I have it. I don't know how much the tech, the shipping is though. Ah, let me check shipping because I would like to pay for shipping with my gift card. So that's one thing. There, there's two ways to go about this. You can wait until you're at the store. You can wait until you're at the register tomorrow. You can wait until you're about to click checkout, see the final total. So maybe my total buying two candles with shipping and tax is going to be $30 or $31. I can buy $31 tomorrow or I can buy like a $30 gift card tonight and then just use that. And if I need more, buy more. Does that make sense? I'm going to see if they're giving us what the shipping is. Like how much you have to buy to get free shipping. We're going to see how much it is. But does everybody understand? You can pre-buy the gift card as in, I know I'm going to go shop at Bath and Body Works. I only want to spend $50. So with that being said, you buy a $50 gift card and you buy what you can with $50 or you wait until you get to the register. The cashier rings up everything. You put everything into your cart and then you see your total and then you can buy the gift card. Instead of putting in your credit card or your debit card, you are going to actually put in the gift card number. You'll have a gift card number and you'll have a pin number and you're going to put that in. I'm going to show you how to buy a gift card. I'm just going to buy $10 and show you guys because it's easier that way. All right. So I see some questions coming in. So let me look at your questions. Hi, everyone. Hey, Gina. Gina did a live. If you guys are not following Gina Schweppe, she actually did a video on YouTube and on her um, Instagram. So you can go to her YouTube channel and watch her actual put together video right now. Mine is just like, let's chat. But she has a really put together video. You guys should definitely go watch her video and subscribe to her channel. Okay. Um, let me see on YouTube. I see some comments and then I'm going to go ahead and buy the gift card for you guys. Kiana says, I'm definitely hitting up candle day tomorrow. Francisca says, hi. Margie says, hi, sweetheart. Hello from Texas. Hi, Geraldine. How are you feeling, my girl? <sighs> Thanks, Heather. If I use flues, can I still use Rakuten? Absolutely. So if you're purchasing on the computer, which I'll do a screen share really quick and show you how easy it is. Um, to use Rakuten and Flues together if there's cash back. I don't think there's Rak. Oh, let's see, Rakuten didn't pop up for me. Okay, we're going we're gonna go to Google and then we're gonna do it and we're gonna see if there's Rakuten cash back. You can use both and let me show you for uh, Instagram. I might have to pull my thing down. Let's see if it'll work for you. Why didn't the Rakuten pop up? The Rakuten might not be here. Let's see. Let me see. Nope, there's no discounts for Bath and Body Works. But Francisca, you absolutely can use 
Rakuten with flus. I want you to think of flus as a form of payment. Yeah, there's no cash back for Rakuten. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see any. Thanks, Heather. So flus is a form of payment. Rakuten is a browser extension. So if you were on if you were on your um if you're on your laptop and you go to a website and Rakuten cashback pops up, you can activate the cashback. Bam, you activate your cashback. And then when you're going to pay for your purchases, then you use flus. I want you guys to remember flus is a form of payment, okay? How many computers do you got in your face? I have three screens up right now and my second phone. So I have my laptop right here. I have a monitor right here, so split screens. I have my phone right here to do my Instagram live. And then I have my work phone here to show you guys how to buy a Flues gift card. So remember my friends, Flues is a form of payment and you earn your cash back when you buy the gift card, not when you spend it, okay? And Francisca, I would say neither one is better, use them together. Neither one is better, use, to, use them together. So if you're ever shopping online and Rakuten pops up, get your Rakuten cash back. And then if Flues has gift card offers for that same website retailer, so Old Navy, Gap, Chipotle, if Rakuten, I mean, I'm sorry, if Flues has a gift card offer, buy your gift card and pay with your gift card. It's card stacking. You always want to stack. So whenever you can use both, use both. Does that make sense? Hi, Chris. The raw sugar butter is only available at Walgreens now. Yeah, some products are at uh, Target. I'm doing great. Got awesome news today. No more cancel sales. Yes, look at God. You are cancer free. I'm going to drink my soda to that. I'm so happy for you. All right. I'm just going to buy a $10 gift card and show you guys and make it easy. So let me move this. Let me move this. Okay, y'all. We're going to buy a gift card. So we're at Bath and Body Works. There's over 400 retailers in here. So before you shop, check Flues and check Rakuten if you're shopping online or even in store when it comes to Flues. Okay. I use this for Starbucks. I use this for Chipotle. Um, I use this for CVS every single week and I earn cash back. And then I use that cash back to actually pay for gift cards. And then I'm also on the path to earning another $2,000 bonus. Once I get 100 referrals, I make $2,000. That's another story for another day. There's a video on my YouTube channel. But if anyone is interested in learning how they can make $2,000 from Flues, I will help you. Okay? I will help you set up a one-on-one, -on -one and I will show you, and I will give you all the tips and things you need to make $2,000 from this app. You only need 100 referrals. All right? But anyway, that's another story for another day. But let me show you how to get this 5% cash back for your candle sales tomorrow. Okay? All right. So... There we go. What you're going to do is you're going to type in your amount. I'm just going to type in $10 because that's all I'm going to get right now. But tomorrow, if you're buying more, you can put in up to $100. And yes, you can buy multiple gift cards. You just have to check to make sure that Bath & Body Works allows you to put in multiple gift cards when you're doing an order. All right. So everybody see the $10. And as you can see, I'm going to get 50 cents cash back. So I'm buying $10 and I'm getting 50 cents cash back. All right. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click continue. Sorry, my brightness is going up. Brightness go down. So I'm going to click continue on this page. It's asking me, do I want to pay with a credit or debit card or do I want to pay with my flus balance? This is another opportunity for you to stack and get more cash back. If you have a rewards credit card or debit card. So like my discover card, I get 1% cash back all the time. My Chase Southwest card, I get 1% cash back all the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So no matter if I buy a gift card or I purchase the items, I get 1% cash back. So if you don't have a Flues balance, if you're brand new to Flues, put in a rewards credit or debit card and you can earn cash back from your credit or debit card, right? You'll earn cash back in Flues. And if you're going to a site that Rakuten has cash back, you can get cash back from Rakuten Thus, you're stacking three different ways to earn cash back on one purchase. Does that make sense? Pay for your Flues gift card with a cash back credit card. So you earn cash back from your credit card and you earn cash back from Flues. So now we have the $10 in here and it's asking me, do I want to pay with one of my credit or debit cards or do I want to pay with my Flues balance? When you pay with your Flues balance, 
they give you another 1% cash back. So now I'm going to get 6% cash back. So now what I'm going to do is I always choose my Fully's balance. I have $49 in there. It's mostly from referrals. Shout out to all of you guys. Every time a referral buys a gift card, I earn something. So when you refer someone, every time they buy a gift card, you're going to earn something too. All right. So with that being said, I chose my Fully's balance. And now I'm going to click purchase my gift card, this black button down here. And I have all of this in a tutorial video on my YouTube channel too. If you need further help after this, I'm going to save this on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook so you guys can come back to it. So it's asking me for my passcode. I'm going to go ahead and put my passcode in. And now it says generating code. So now it's going to show me a barcode. If you're in store, you can have your cashier just scan that barcode. All right. If you're in store, so here's my barcode. I'm not going to show y'all, so y'all can't use my $10. You can scan your barcode in store, or when you're online, you just type in your gift card number and the PIN number. Now, what I'll do is I'll actually show you guys one of my old gift cards that I've used up already so you can see what the barcode looks like. Um, one, up. Oh, let me show you this. The way to get back to your gift cards, a lot of people ask is when you're at this home screen where it says pay at the bottom, all you have to do is click on my purchases and all of your gift cards are there. They stay there until you click mark as used and it's all gone. So you have to manually go in and mark that your gift card is used up and they will go away. I keep my old ones in here because I show you guys all the time. So I'm going to show you one that um, the barcode looks similar. Um, let me grab one of these old CVS ones. They still have money on them though. Oh, here's Office Depot. I know it doesn't have money. So this is what the barcode looks like. So you'll get a gift card number and you'll get a pin number. You'll get a gift card number and you'll get a pin number. So if you're in store, you can tell your cashier, I have a gift card. They can scan it and bam. If you're online, you just type in your gift card information and then bam, you pay for your items and you're out the door. Any questions, my friends? Now I have to put a note here to buy a candle tomorrow. <laughs> Buy a candle. What questions do we have? Questions. Hi, everybody on Instagram. Questions. The app is called Flues. It's linked in my bio. So click the link in my bio. It is an instant cashback app. When you sign up, you want to use my referral code Max Chrome, and that's M A X Chrome. Use that referral code, and you'll get three 35% cashback offers. So I, that's what you call a voucher, and a voucher just means it's a high level cashback offer. So use my code Max Chrome. Purchase a gift card tonight. If you're someone who goes to CVS every week, use it to buy a gift card at CVS. And like I said, some of my favorite stores, and I'll show you guys what my favorite stores are. You can even put your favorites in here. My phone is freezing up on me. Give me one second. I got to reopen the app. All right, so this is my store's homepage. And when you go right here, it shows you your favorites. So my favorites are Chipotle, CVS, and Starbucks. Those are the stores that I use the most in the Flues app. But when you go to my purchases, you can see that I've bought gift cards from Bath & Body Works, Michaels, CVS, um, The Children's Place, Old Navy, Starbucks, Carter's, Oshkosh, Old Navy, Office Depot, Amazon. You don't get a lot of cash back from Amazon, but a few cents here and there, it all adds up. Chipotle, CVS, DoorDash. DoorDash is in here, y'all. You can get nice cash back from DoorDash. So that's a lot of the places that I have personally shopped at. The other thing is you can go in and you can see where other people are shopping at. So right now, people are buying gift cards for Google Playbooks, 
American Eagle, Think Sweet Cafe, Wish.com, Lowe's, Domino's, Bath and Body Works, um, Think Sweet Cafe again, CVS. Home Depot's in here. Wish again. Amazon, Bath and Body Works, Chili's, Wish. What is Think Sweet Cafe? A lot of people are buying from there. Sam's Club's in here. Y'all, I didn't know Sam's Club was in here. Lowe's, Home Depot, Foot Locker's in here. Oh, people are going to this Think Sweet Cafe a lot. Like, what is that? <laughs> what is Think Sweet Cafe? So anyway, there's a ton of gift cards. Um, some frequently asked questions I get, yes, you can use your gift card up until it's gone. So where I showed you guys in my purchases, when you go to my purchases, say you purchased a $100 gift card to Bath and Body Works today, right? And let's just say tomorrow on Candle Day, you only spend $60. That $40, just like a regular gift card, is going to be still on here until you use it up. So just don't forget to use it up. Another good thing that I do is I screenshot my barcodes and I put my credit and debit cards away. So when I'm at CVS and I know that I'm going to pay with flus, excuse me, I don't even bring my debit card into the store. I screenshot my barcodes and I have my phone open and ready to pay. Hello, hello, everyone. We're talking about the flus app and the Bath and Body Works candle sale that's tomorrow. The three wick candles are going to be $9.95. And you can earn 5% cash back when you buy a Flues gift card. So I am here to answer your questions. What questions do you have about Flues, about using Flues, about stacking with Flues? What questions do you have, if any? I have a full tutorial video up on my YouTube channel on how to use Flues. Um, it's like 20 minutes, but I'll walk you through everything like I just showed you. Um, I also answer frequently asked questions in that video and then in some of my other videos as well around flus. I use it every single week at CVS. So if you watch my CVS videos, you'll see that I um, use it there as well. Any other questions for me? I wish you guys good luck when you're shopping. Remember, you can use flus in store and online. So if you're going to brave, you're going to be brave and go out into the stores, more power to you. Stay safe but make sure you buy the gift card and get your cash back. All of the cash back adds up. If you're going to shop at these places anyway, especially if you're doing Christmas shopping, like I earned a ton of cash back between Rackleton, Top Cashback, Flues over the past month buying stuff for Kinsley. The girl's growing like a weed, so I had to buy a bunch of clothes for her. So I was able to double and triple dip on my cash back offers. Rackleton, Top Cashback, and Flues have been my friends when it comes to earning money when buying stuff for Kinsley, y'all. So if you're going to be spending money at any of these retailers, go ahead and get you a gift card. Get that instant cash back. If anybody is interested in having me help you create a strategy on how you can make up to $2,000 from Flues with 100 referrals, there's a link in the description box here on YouTube. For you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, a 30-minute session, we can chat it up and I can help you create a nice little plan to help you start earning. And just to give you an example, if you just want to like dip your toe in the referral pond, when you get five referrals to buy their first gift card, you get $10 just for referring them and then buying their first gift card. And if you get 10 referrals total to buy one gift card, you'll earn an additional $20. So you can make $30 just by telling 10 people total to sign up for Flues and buy a gift card. So if you get 10 people to sign up, buy their first gift card, you get $30 plus you earn a bonus every time they buy a gift card. So you can probably make around $30 to $35 depending on how big of a purchase they make and how much you earn. You can make easy $35 getting 10 people to buy a gift card. And every time, forever, when they buy a gift card, you earn a bonus. This is why I love flus. I'm about to like crack over 8,000 with them when I hit this bonus again. It's literally the gift that keeps on giving. That's why I love it so much. 
What other questions do we have before I go? Hey, Nina. Hey, Erica, how are you? Hey, Instagram. I'm also going to be starting a daily live campaign. So if you guys have any topics or things you want me to talk about on lives, let me know down in the comments. Shoot me an email. Send me a DM. Let me know. Crystal, I want you to talk about this because I want to go live every day, but I just don't want to be like, hey, y'all, what y'all doing? I want to give you guys some good value. So I have some topics drummed up, but I want you guys to tell me what you want to hear from me. So on Instagram, you're going to see me asking you, like, what questions do you have? What kind of content you want to see from me? If you're not following me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. I'm doing a bunch of Q&As over on TikTok. So again, I'm going to be live. I'm probably going to go live on TikTok after this as well, because one of my videos is like blowing, blowing up right now. So I want to go and chat with the people over there. But in the meantime, if you have things you want me to talk about live, questions you have, shoot me an email, send me a DM, comment down below. No, Erica, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. And with COVID, it's like funerals are not even how, you know, the family gatherings are like not even the same. I'm sorry to hear that. It really sucks especially during this time when you can't like just be with your family like you want to, you know? This is like such weird times we are living in, for sure. You're so welcome, my dear. It's so, it's, these, these times are like unmatched. And I want you guys to know that I'm here and I'm smiling but life, life, and that is all I will say, <laughs> is life. Coronavirus has <laughs> hit me in ways you could never imagine, but guess what? It's okay. But not even being able to like celebrate the life of a loved one who has moved on because of coronavirus that part sucks not being able to just spend time with your family like that part sucks like I'm here to spend time with my family like COVID was a plus and a minus for me I get to spend all this time here but the downfall is is that I can't spend time here like I used to like Thanksgiving just happened I would have been like with all my other family and my cousins and stuff but it's like we can't even and then it's just so sad because like not not any of like my direct family members, but like like friends of friends and things have passed away. And people are literally have to do like drive by funerals. And it's so sad that you can't even like grieve together because it's like you don't want to hurt in someone else. And the states and the governors have us like on such restrictions. Excuse me. So it's just like so sad because you can't even have that comfort. Oh no, that's so sad. And it's so scary to go to the hospital because it's like people who are sick from other things don't even want to go to the hospital. I know we just went to a whole nother topic, but like, this is real life, y'all. The candles are great. They smell good. They'll make you feel good. But like, this is the life that we're dealing with every single day. It's scary. Like if you, like people are not even going into the regular doctor, they're doing like teledoc visits and Zoom visits. And because it's like, if you don't have COVID, you don't want to have to go to the hospital unless it's like a dire emergency. She's had other health problems, but COVID took her out. Yeah, because when you have a compromised immune system, it's so hard. It's so hard. I'm sorry, Erica. This just sucks. It really does. I'm sick of COVID too. I am. And to think, y'all, in a couple months, it'll be a whole year of us dealing with this. Can you believe that our 2020 has been like COVID bound? And I think like just thinking about these candles will like allow us to have some moment of excitement, right? The good deals allow us to feel good in the moment. 
But then after that moment's over, we're like, oh, crap, we got to deal with this. So one thing I will share with you guys, since we did get a little bit heavy, one thing that I've done, and I share this in my Swap Maximizer membership. This is my journal. This is one of my favorite journals. Uh, they were on sale for like $5 at Target. I bought this journal in 2017. I'm going to give y'all some perspective of how 2020 has been, right? So I got this journal in 2017 when I first started my business. I'm going on a tangent. So if you're done hearing about the candles, <laughs> go. But I'm about to go into like a little bit of like preacher crystal and help your soul right now. Okay. So this is going to be a little bit of soul healing. I, soul healing in the sense of this is what I've been doing to help my soul. So I want to see if it can help you. Right. I'm going to share my technique. So I bought this in 2017 and I started my first like. I started a ton of businesses in my life. But my first, like, I'm going to do this. Like, let's be serious. I invested a lot of money in this, right? I started it in August 2017. So I got this journal August 2017, and I started to write what I went through, right? My journey of starting this business in 2017, okay? And then I started to write in it for 2018. And then I started my YouTube channel, Right? So in two and a half years, so from August 2017 to January 2020, this is how much I wrote in this daggone journal, y'all. And in my defense, I had another journal where I was writing in like at work when I had my full-time job. But this is what I did like business-wise and YouTube-wise. This is all I wrote from 2017, all of 2018, all of 2019. 2020 starts right here. Can I show y'all how much I've written in 2020? This is all 2020. Why am I showing you this? Journaling has helped me mentally, spiritually, emotionally. I write my prayers. I write my pain points. I write my frustrations. I write my master plans of how I'm going to make a million dollars. I write any and everything to brain dump, to get over everything. I effing hate COVID. I mean, any thought or feeling, there's sticky notes in here. And I write in different colors. I don't know if y'all can see how colorful it is because depending on my mood. But all of that is 2020. Most of this book is 2020. And this is all I have left. And I have another one with me, thank God. But I suggest grab a journal. If, you, if you're balling on a budget, get something from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't even have to be fancy. Grab a freaking notebook that we got for 10 cents on clearance. Whatever you have, grab a piece of notebook paper. I don't care. But get your thoughts out, y'all. Get your feelings out because this year is unmatched and it's not going to get, I don't, there's, we're never going back to what we had normal, like March, previous to March 2020. We're never going to be able to go back into that state. Like that state is just gone. But I want you to take five minutes a day to just write how you feel, write what you're grateful for. Write what things you want to do better. Write down your fears and why they're irrational. Um, write down anything that hurts and write down anything that feels good. A lot of this is celebrations, things that went well, right? Use it as a tool to help you get through what we're dealing with right now. So journal, journal, journal. It will help you. Like, I have literally felt in this last nine months of 2020, I felt every single emotion humanly possible. The good, the bad, the ugly. Every every which way I could be in 2020, I have been. Like, literally. It's insane. Yes, my family and I are in quarantine now. I contracted COVID and my son and his girlfriend has it too. Oh, no, sweet pea. I hope you get well soon. That sucks. A few of my extended family members have also had it. And these are not people who are like, you know, people are just catching it from just like going to the grocery store. It's sad. It's sad. But did you guys see on the news? They said that they tested some blood from December 2019 and it had COVID antibodies in it. So they were basically saying now that COVID was in the United States before anyone even knew it, which I figured that already. Like a lot of people had it last December and they didn't know what they had, right? But just to think about the blood transfusions, you would transfusion COVID blood to people without us even knowing that it was a thing. So it's just, it's a lot, y'all. Hey, bro. 
Geraldine says journaling helps a lot. It does. Get your thoughts out of your head. It will help you so much. Yes, Erica. Five minutes a day, y'all. I'm going to be weird. I don't care if you got to take that journal to the toilet with you in the morning. Take that journal with you to work and write on your lunch break. If you carpool, take that journal with you and write in it. Take that journal with you. And if you have kids, take that journal with you and go to the car. Mommy's going to the car for five minutes. Lock yourself in the bathroom. Give yourself five minutes. And I promise you, even if you have to cry, scream, yell, shout, jump, sing, whatever you have to do, get it out. I promise you will feel better. Yes, Chris, I do the same thing. Journaling is awesome. It helps me as well. I'm 42 years young and I have notebooks after notebooks for my teenage years. Oh, it's probably nice to go back and see what yourself was thinking. Like, Let's look at 2017 Crystal and what she was saying. Just It says, I got this journal for plans. This is August 20th, 2017. And big things always happen to me in August. Like August is like a transformational month for me. It says, got this journal for plans. So as of today, I need to focus on the positions and source for a newsletter. I was um, recruiting nurses. I started my own recruiting business to recruit nurses on the side because I was a sales recruiter for a timeshare company for like a year and a half at this point with a master's in HR and all that stuff. I need to figure out how to have a constant influx of qualified resumes. My current game plan is to launch full force on social media on September 1st. I, so I have a lot to do in 11 days. I need to film a video, write a script, finalize the website, post, post five jobs, create an Instagram and create my first newsletter. So this is me writing down like, <laughs> wow, all the things I needed to do to get this business off the ground. And I ran this for like a year. But what I found is y'all, which you'll hear me talk about a lot. I liked recruiting, but I didn't love recruiting. What did I love more than anything? Couponing. What did I love more than anything? Teaching. So let's fast forward. Two, when I started my YouTube channel and I had my epiphany. All right, so August 28th, 2018, your girl said, so life changed about eight days ago when I started my YouTube channel. I decided to follow my passion, couponing. My YouTube is up and running. I'm so happy and excited. This, this is the business I want to run. Chris the Maximizer is the brand. I'm focusing on that. I'm building my YouTube channel and my following. I want to be a coupon consultant. This was 2018 Crystal. Okay. And from that time in two months, I went from just starting a YouTube channel to 1,042 subscribers. So shout out to you if you're one of my first subscribers. So anyway, it's nice to go back to see where you were and see how far you came. You feel me? So enough about that. Any other questions about flus? Hi, Shakira. How you doing, girlfriend? Any other questions about flus, Bath and Body Works, or any couponing questions before I go? Journal. Get it out. If you would like any help, you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. 30 minutes. The link is down in the description box. On Instagram, if you want a one-on-one, -on -one, just DM me, and we can get that set up. Yes, that's truth. I'm one or the of the people that tested positive for antibodies back in January, but I was never sick. I worked the whole time. Yeah, and they weren't even like diagnosing it back then because they they didn't know what the heck they were dealing with, or they pretended like they didn't know what the heck they were dealing with, right? Any questions? Now I'm gonna skip forward to 2019 when your girl got fired. Let's see what my mindset was then. Let's go to that. Wow, you guys pop in your questions. This is your time. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to go. Let's see what I said on firing day, which was August. So I didn't even write on August 19th. I wrote on November 14th, so damn near a month before I opened up the journal again. 
Oh my God, it's been a while since I journaled about business. August 19th, I got fired and started working full-time at Krista Maximizer LLC. God pushed me into another atmosphere. I'm working expeditiously to create a business I love. Today, I decide to make a change to be consistent with journaling. Affirmation. I am great. Money flows easily. There's always more. I'm living in abundance. I can have anything I want as long as I do the work. Yeah, baby. And that's when I started being much more consistent with journaling. Almost daily. Erica, I even wrote about you in my journal. I put Erica Johnson made it plain. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> and that was back in December 2019. Yeah. And then from there, I've journaled so much more. It's really changed my life. Really. All right, let's see. Okay, you guys have any questions? Otherwise, your girl's going to go. I just got the Flues app. Can I get a Bath and Body Works gift card? Yes. So you can pre-buy a gift card or you can wait until tomorrow when you um, know your final total. But if you want to buy a gift card now, I can walk you through that process if you like. You should do a collab with another person on YouTube. Um, I have one like little collab coming up. I think. Erica said LOL. Are you gonna have Kinsley in more videos? Probably not because um videos can't get monetized uh like so with Kinsley in them. I'm gonna have her back for a couple weeks. We're doing a family photo shoot next week. Is it next week or around the Around like next weekend, we're doing a family photo shoot. So I'll have her back and then she'll stay with me until the new year. And then she's probably going to go back with her dad for a few for a few more weeks, possibly like until spring break. She wants to spend time with her dad. I'm here. It's close to where her dad is. So, yeah. Erica, we will talk more and swap. There is a lot going on. But I'll have her back for a couple weeks. I'm going to have her for Christmas this year. Um, so I'll have her back. I'll have her back next week. But yeah, she's not going to be in many videos, like as far as like being featured, you'll see her here and there. But even when she's here with me, I'm filming without her. It just it's easier to film without her now that I actually have help um, being around my family, which is a huge surplus. So I don't have to have her with me 24 seven. And yeah, my videos can't get monetized when she's in them, like as a main person. Just popped in to say hello and thanks for another great video. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, but I'm not in Florida right now. So possibly doing some collabs, but I'm not in Florida right now. And I probably won't be for a while. So yeah. And she, I think she lives like a few hours away from me. There were some other people I was going to do collabs with, but we may do some virtual collabs. We can still collab and not be in the same place. I may do a collab with some people that are around here because there's there's one person I do want to collab with that's around here. I'm like, girl, I want to come shopping with you. So follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. Please go watch my CVS and Walgreens videos. Let the ads play through. That would really, really help me. Subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. When I get to 30,000 subscribers, I will be hosting a giveaway. Um, and we're giving away cash for this next giveaway. I'm doing the giveaway with my sister. So I'm giving away cash, 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 cold, hard cash. Cold, hard cash. So... Yeah. How are you? How are you liking being in Maryland? Erica, we'll talk and swap. Ask me that question and we'll talk privately and I'll give you my real deal. But I'm enjoying it. I'm here with my family. Obviously great because I'm with my man every single day. But here with my family. Is it hard being away from Kinsley for so long? Nope. I can't be away from my three-year-old for longer than 10 to 12 hours without going crazy. So... Before 
Kinsley went with her dad this summer. The longest I had been away from her was probably about last Christmas when she was with her dad for like 10 days. I loved it. I love my child so, so much. Don't get me wrong. But I love the break. I do. So then in the summer, that was the next longest time I've ever been away from her when she was with her dad for two whole months. I missed her a little bit, but like, y'all, not really. I did miss her, but it doesn't bother me being away from her, honestly. Um, now that me and her dad are not together, it's just like something I have to get used to. She likes being with her dad. Her dad likes having her. And I like having a break. I'm not even going to lie to you. So have I heard of now me and Orlando Coupon Queen? I'm going to say we're friends for sure. We are friends. We DM on a regular. I'm in a group chat with her. Yes, I'm friends with Orlando Coupon Queen. I'm friends, acquaintances with some other. Um, I'm acquaintances with some other popping YouTubers night. Yeah, YouTubers, but really popping on Instagram and um, TikTok. So from when I did that, don't rush. The reason why I got to be in the don't rush is because I was friendly with Orlando Coupon Queen. You're welcome, Satara. All right, I'm going to end Instagram. Instagram, it was so nice chatting with y'all. If you want to finish this conversation, I'm going to be on YouTube for another 10, 15 minutes. We're just chatting it up. But make sure you download Flues, use my referral code MAXCHROME, and when you are purchasing your candles tomorrow at Bath & Body Works, make sure you use your Flues gift cards. And y'all have a good night Instagram. Uh, download video and share to IGTV. So from when I did the Don't Rush Challenge, um, before Don't Rush, I don't know how me and Orlando Coupon Queen started talking, but she was always asking me questions about YouTube. So we started chatting it up. I was helping her out with her YouTube. She was helping me out with Instagram. I mean, me and her talked a lot via DM. So when it was time to do the Don't Rush Challenge, I was like, she put out a post. And I was like, yeah, I want to do the Don't Rush. But then there was like so many like smaller YouTubers, no offense. So there was like a bunch of smaller people. So then she broke it off and like did two, two different groups. So long story short, I got to be in the Don't Rush just off of the 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 relationship that me and her had built like on the side um and she really um was cool and me and her have had such great conversations so i was the baby in that don't rush all everyone else i was in the don't rush with they had like 50 60 70 kayla has freaking 1.3 million on tiktok but they're all like big on instagram right i was literally the baby um, so me and her have bonded a lot since then. So we did the don't rush in like April. So this whole year I've been like really cool with her and chatting it up with her and stuff. So yeah, definitely cool with her. Hey, Erica, she says, okay. I deleted TikTok. I made a lot of videos in the beginning of the pandemic. I love TikTok now. TikTok, I grew the fastest on. I have like 10K right now and growing, literally. Totally understand she's older. Yeah, even when she was younger though, I don't know. I love her so much. But I love the break. I'm not even going to lie. I love the break. I love not having to wake up early and not having to do school, not having to make breakfast. I love it. But of course, she's my baby and I miss her and I love her. But for most of her life, I was with her every daggone day of her life, except for those times. I mean, I went on a couple vacations and she was like with my mother and stuff. Even when I was on vacation, I was like, bye, Felicia. Don't call me unless unless it's an emergency. And if it's an emergency, call her daddy because I'm on vacation. But no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You two co parents. We are very good friends. We talk almost every day. And everything's in the best interest of our child. So we don't have no quarrels, no questions. You want to have the child? Have her. Um, and if it wasn't for this family photo shoot, I'd be like, you want me to mail her some more clothes? Because our uh, she could stay. <laughs> I need a break from my girls. Yeah, and you got two of them. I couldn't imagine having two Kinsleys. <laughs> so Sarah said me. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, I, of course, I miss her, but it's nice to have a break for sure. But don't worry, I'll have her back real soon. Real, real soon. 
All right, guys, any other questions? Make sure you use flues. Um, I'm going to post this Instagram TV video, um, and I'm about to go film some TikToks. Oh, I see people over here buying. Excuse me. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. You can comment them here. And anything else you want to see from me as far as like videos goes, topics you want me to cover, just let me know down in the comments. Thank y'all so much for chatting it out with me tonight. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.